Hey guys, uh, Glenn again, and I am up to the next stage in the battery build. So, um, what I'm trying to do now is complete uh, a battery box. So, I've decided to make my own battery box out of 90mm ply. Uh, so, it's going to be pretty sturdy. I'm going to put it on some casters and um, try and mount the uh, battery and BMS in there. So that's happening um, and the second thing behind me here is uh, we've got another sheet of form ply installed uh, installed that over um, over the last couple of days and really trying to work out now how to place everything on the wall once um, once uh, I get the battery box built so the idea is the battery box can move around um, I think I will have that connected via an Anderson plug so I can physically disconnect it I'm not sure if I'm going to still mount a, another switch in there. It's just another connection, um, but it, you know I may do that. I haven't decided on that one yet, so hang around for that. Well, let me know if I should or I shouldn't. Um, I'm really open to taking people's comments and advice. So yeah, here we go. I'll uh, I'll give you a look at the conundrum on the wall. So this is the state of the uh, power wall the last time we saw it. It's still running. Uh, I guess I am still testing um, all the different components and giving it a bit of a, a run through, like doing a full charge, etc. So that's been really good. Continue to uh, to do so and watch uh, watch the battery. Uh, the battery itself is ready for its new home. It's uh, ready to go into uh, the box that I'll show you shortly um, and I'm yeah looking forward to freeing up this table and, and getting it in a safer environment so right now I have the issue of how do I place everything on this form ply um, I think I will perhaps leave the um, charge controller where it is uh, but I think I'll move the inverter across onto the other side onto this form ply and then next to it may have the um, AC distribution um, board and some GPOs um, so I think that'd be good the uh, and I think I'll also move the links I think I'll move basically all this across to the other side I may leave the screen here maybe somewhere um, not sure I also have the option now to route the cables behind um, just to try and make it a bit neater, not sure, let me know what you think on that or whether I should do surface duct. I know a lot of people do surface duct and I guess it makes it easy to modify and see what's going on with all your connections. Uh, it could be that pro, I guess the con is it tends to look a little untidy but I guess it's all in the eye of the beholder. And yeah, looking forward to getting that happening. So this here is the battery box enclosure that I've built. Um, I did that yesterday with the help of my daughter who uh, helped me handle some of the sheet supply. Look, I'm no cabinet maker, it's pretty crude. I'm not going to lie about that, but I think it'll form, I think it'll be functional. So the idea is to have the batteries in this side um, at a divider to keep them um, not compressed, but at least uh, together. To avoid any sort of movement in case I do move this box. I'm going to put this on some caster wheels and then on this side I'm going to have fuses and BMS. I'm not sure how I'm going to mount the BMS yet. Again any advice would be greatly appreciated. Um, the JK BMS doesn't seem to lend itself to um, being mounted easily. I think uh, a few other people have just made some some uh, some uh, retaining clamps if you like almost to to hold it in place so yeah add a bit of a loss on that one and then on top of that i've, I've put a rebate here so i can actually um, put a lid on it and be able to easily remove it should i need to uh, it'll have a front as well once i finish jeering around in here so give that a sand up and uh, put some clear coat on that to help protect the uh, wood and i'm going to try and I'm going to see whether I can route these edges to help protect them, but uh, I think the screws are very close, so I'm not sure if that's going to work. Anywho, we'll um, we'll see what uh, today's adventure brings.
this is uh, the BMS side of the battery box. Uh, as I said before, this will be where the batteries are stored. BMS is going to go up here. Uh, I'm just waiting some cable lugs with the right angle to um, to be able to mount uh, the battery and the BMS. Um, so what I'm trying to do now is just work out how I'm going to mount the BMS in here, position a fuse and uh, and some terminals. Um, what I've done to try and figure that out is uh, I've done a bit of a sketch or a bit of a mock-up I guess of uh, how that looks. So this is a bit of a sketch up of a uh, bit of a model of the um, side of the battery box that I'm trying to solve and I thought I'd just try and lay some things out here to get an idea of where they need to be and how much space I've got. Um, so at the top here we have uh, the uh, battery negative and the battery um, sorry the battery negative and the battery positive fairly much how they'll um, be situated uh, and there'll be a, a straight cable down to this 300 amp fuse which is rated for the battery uh, they are very expensive once you go to 48 volt uh, but that's a 300 amp and this will provide uh, I guess ultimate uh, protection for the connections to the battery uh, before it goes into the bus bar so to get out of the battery box on the positive side I need to be able to because it's fairly uh, the front of the battery box is fairly uh, tight there I've, um, I'm just waiting on some negative uh, some 90 degree uh, cable lugs to be able to come out here at an angle and go straight out the front of the box so that's the positive side I've got the BMS uh, drawn loosely to scale in here uh, I need a way to mount the BMS onto the onto the wood uh, the BMS does have some M6 uh, screw holes on the back of it I don't really want to don't really want to come from the battery side through to mount that um, I thought about taping it uh, I'm open to ideas on how to mount this but uh, and solutions there doesn't seem to be a too many apart from you know printing yourself up some BMS brackets or something to be able to hold that so I am sort of looking at that anyway so the BMS will be in the middle uh, and where it gets a little tricky is off the the um, battery bank negative so the battery bank negative comes into the BMS into here uh, and then out of the other side of the BMS and I probably haven't left enough space here uh, the uh, pack negative cable comes out and I'm going to attach it to this distribution um, this distribution stud here uh, they only come in red even though it's negative um, so I will uh, again get another 90, 90 degree uh, cable lug to then go outside um, of the battery box um, so the front of the battery box would be roughly here which is actually what this piece is is the front of the battery box I just haven't mounted it as yet uh, and from there I intend to go through a couple of cable glands uh, and secure the cable that way so that uh, there's no there's no tension uh, I might even try and bring the cables a little bit closer Anderson plug so I think I've decided I'm going to go 175 amp Anderson so I've purchased uh, these plugs and the appropriate uh, 35 mil lugs which will go inside that um, and so therefore uh, on the outside of the box these would sit and go into the uh, Anderson plug which gives me a way to physically disconnect this uh, battery pack from the rest of the system uh, should I need to move it um, I don't have to be unscrewing playing with connections other than uh, this uh, this plug so while not ideal I think it provides a, a a reasonable com compromise around uh, flexibility of being able to move it uh, or replace the battery pack so that's my current plan uh, I am open to ideas uh, let me know what you think um, that's sort of where my head's at around completing this and getting it mounted uh, like I said I'm just waiting on some terminal lugs to be able to actually stage the battery but getting pretty excited to be able to um, to uh, use this what's left on the battery box itself now well I've, I've got these caster wheels which I'll um, affix to the bottom um, this box and battery will weigh over 100 kilos uh, so I bought some of these caster wheels to uh, attach to the bottom of the box 
in order to uh, be able to move it around. So I uh, picked these up from Bunnings. These are rated to 70 kilos, which I assume is each. Um, so that should uh, be able to support the uh, box and I'll just be affixing those with um, some uh, screws and washers.